Well, first of all, thank you, everybody, for showing up. This is a people organization. And the, things that makes the, the, the thing that makes this so special are all of the people, the inductees, the professional members, their families, their friends, and their clients. It's all about the people, and thank you very, very much for being here. Tonight, it's my pleasure to be able to make a very special induction. This is kind of a dual induction. The next person, we're going to be inducting them into the National Fitness Hall of Fame, and we are also going to be recognizing them with the Lifetime Achievement Award. And this is very special for the National Fitness Hall of Fame. At age five, Gilda Marks embarked on her fitness journey with tap dancing and ballet. Years later, she was asked to choreograph a charity dance. And Gilda realized that the dancers needed a little physical conditioning. So what did she do? She started teaching fitness classes in the patio of her backyard. And after the dancers got into shape, they asked her to continue the classes. This was way back in 1963. Gilda knew that she had hit on something big. And Body Design by Gilda was born. Gilda taught fitness classes to the likes of Jane Fonda, Barbara Streisand, Madonna, Sly Stallone, Susan Anton. She was influential in bringing Kathy Smith and many others into the industry. She opened 18 studios across the United States and Canada. Gilda appeared in countless TV interviews and was featured in many newspapers and magazines. She authored books, produced audio tapes and videos. Gilda's ambition included the manufacturing of exercise attire. If you've been exercising long enough, you have worn Flexitar, which sold in 48 countries worldwide. Gilda's story would not be complete without mentioning her husband and business partner, Bob Marks. The son of Google Marks, of the famous Marks Brothers. He brought a wealth of business experience and know-how to the team, and the two of them were a force unstoppable. Gilda, you are personally responsible for contributing so much to the fitness industry. The awards and accolades that you have collected over the years are so numerous that we can't even begin to mention them. But they're there, you've been recognized. And thousands of people now follow in your footsteps. Many years ago, in the late 1970s, I had the pleasure of meeting Gilda, who was already a legend. Little did either one of us know, way back then, that someday I'd be standing on this stage presenting Gilda with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Gilda, thank you for all that you have done. The National Fitness Hall of Fame is honored to share this joyous occasion with you. Hall of Fame for creating this incredible group of people who have given so much to the world in terms of health and fitness and joy. And I am so deeply honored today to receive this award. When I first began teaching my body design, my yoga exercise studio program, there were no studios for women, only the traditional weight training gyms that were primarily for men 
in the early days, I had to rent space from places like dance studios, karate studios, and any space I could find that I could afford. As the business grew, and it was around 18 years that I did that, that my husband Bob designed my first and owned magnificent studio in the Century City Medical Building in the penthouse. And this is where all of the cream de cream <laughs> came and exercised and worked out. And that was subsequently, we owned and franchised, as he mentioned, 17 more studios. And each studio included boutiques for a line of clothing that I was developing. Because at this time, I realized that women were so into working out and they really didn't have things that clothing that was comfortable enough and flattering enough that they would wear to the gym and soon it became a lifestyle dressing. So I was so happy to be able to have these studios with boutiques to experiment and put my flexitars in and on my women so I had a capsulated audience. And that was garments, the Flexitars later became the premier line of fitness wear for 22 years. I never lost my passion for teaching exercise, but I also never imagined that becoming fit and healthy through exercise would ultimately become a lifetime style throughout the world. In this audience today, and all of the individuals who have given so much to it and who are still out there every day, training people, motivating them to be healthier, happier, and really exist in a, a life that for them they will realize that this is what living is. And I just want to say that I'm so very proud that I had the experience in my lifetime to be able to do what I did and change the lives of so many people. It makes my life so worthwhile. Uh, and so I thank you all, and I especially thank all of you for creating this wonderful platform for people to be proud and share their experience with all of you. Thank you.